tradition started with Spanish royalty. King Alfonso decreed that all the little inns had to serve little bits of food when they served wine. Now he did this for health reasons, but you know what? It's a heck of a lot of fun too, so the tradition stuck. No more stuffing yourself silly with food. I like this Alfonso guy, he's smart. So where can we enjoy a little piece of this action? Well, locally, we can go to the Hannah's Tapas Bar and Lounge. Hannah, this is a really cool setup, really cool joint. I love it. What uh, made you decide to open up this style of a restaurant? Well, I went to Spain and fell in love with how they do things. They sleep in the afternoon, they eat tapas uh, right after work with friends, they all get together and drink and have little nibblies and then they do dinner later. So I, I think like that's that. a lot, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, very social. Explain to us what a tapas is. Well, tapas is standardly a, a small bite of food that was placed over a glass of wine, and that was to keep the fruit flies out. Uh -huh. But that has evolved in Spain as well um, into little platters of food uh, for tasting, again, as at the social hour. Um, but then we've sort of done our own spin on it, as we do at Hannah's, but it's, so it's international tapas. So it's not just going to be Spanish-influenced food, it's going to be food, little items that you'd see from maybe Indonesia or Thailand or India or Mediterranean for sure. So it's that variety. So it's still keeping true to the tapas idea, but keeping true to the Hannah's idea, which is international fusion. I was going to say, I can see where the sisterhood is happening here. <laughs> So do you have to stuff your face? No. <laughs> no. No, that's the idea too, is you leave feeling exactly where you want to be because you've stopped when you want to stop and or continued on as far as you want to continue. I'm here with executive chef Nick Benninger and he does amazing things back here. So tell me a little bit about um, the menu items themselves. It's a little bit different style in a tapas lounge than a regular restaurant. Uh, well, right now we're throwing on a pretty good example of that. Just some mini uh, steak burgers with a little bit of foie gras in the middle. Um, I've also thrown on some flatbreads for a little Mediterranean flatbread we're gonna do. Um, we're also going to be doing a stuffed brie. Uh, with walnuts and, and rolled oats with a fresh fruit compote. And our last item will be jerk shrimp with an avocado salsa and some Parmesan tuyos. about this is that if I can't make up my mind about the menu, because usually main courses are so big, yeah. I can have four or five different types of things and, yeah. and not feel bad in the least. Or come in without a fixed plan. I mean, yeah. you can come in just for the thought of having a drink, yeah. and wander into the menu, and, and you might be here for a couple of hours. <laughs> so there you go. That looks beautiful, Nick. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hannah's Tapas Bar and Lounge is a breath of fresh air in the dining world. Hey, Hannah. Hi. Thank you so much. This looks great. So come and enjoy your taste buds with a class act at a time. And it's all right here on Grand River Living.